Mika from the Challenger Learning Center, and today I'll be talking about the IMAX movie Dolphins. This movie follows how dolphins live, play, and communicate. We know that sound travels about five times faster through water than through air, which is really helpful for dolphins who rely on sound for communication more than any other mode. When we hear a noise, we're actually feeling vibrations inside of our ears, and this first activity will demonstrate how these vibrations carry sound. To begin, grab a partner and two cups. Each of you should try whispering into one of the cups on either side of the room. How well can you hear each other? Probably not that well because the vibrations aren't able to pass from one person to another. Now, we're going to poke a hole in the bottom of each cup and attach a piece of string to them. The piece of string should be pretty long that it reaches from one end of the room to the other. Once we get the string through, we're going to tie each end of the string to a paper clip to make sure the string doesn't fall through the bottom of the cup. Now, test it out again. Try whispering or talking to each other through these cups. I mean, make sure the string is pulled tight. Can you hear them better? When someone talks, the bottom of the cup vibrates and the string carries the vibration and therefore the sound to the other cup, making it easier to hear the other person. The second activity is going to investigate echolocation. For this activity, we'll need two paper towel rolls, some tape, and a tin, either a pie tin or an aluminum foil tin. Either of those will work fine. What we're going to do is we're going to tape our paper towel rolls to a table or hard surface at an angle so that they're angled towards each other, but they're not exactly touching. Then we're going to tape the pie tin on its side in front of the two paper towel rolls. Now, try whispering into one tube and having your friend listen in the other. What's happening is that the sounds and vibration that you're making in this tube are traveling and hitting the tin, and then they're being bounced back into the other paper towel tube. And this is how dolphins use echolocation. They send out a series of clicks and listen for those clicks to return. If they return quickly, it means that their sound bounced off of an object that was close by. In the opposite sense, if the sound takes a while to come back, it knows that it bounced off an object that was far away. So this allows dolphins to understand how far away things are just by using sound. I hope you guys enjoyed these activities, and I can't wait to see you back at the Challenger Learning Center when we reopen.